Yo, what is up? Today we're getting into Dolphin Emulator, which would be for GameCube and Wii. Uh, this is going to be the full setup guide. It's actually very simple compared to like the other ones I've done. There's no BIOS, no firmware required, just application, some minor settings, and you're ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start it off. Um, but actually, if, if you don't have an extractor, uh, like to unzip games and you know programs I recommend using breeze zip or 7-zip whatever one you prefer uh, Either or actually let me show you really quick uh, The one I use Right here. That's the application. You'll find it on the Microsoft Store. Very simple. All right, let's get into it So we're gonna get into dolphin emulator. I will drop the link, but it's just that seriously uh, We'll click on the first link here and we're going to go ahead and download the 5.0 version. The latest is what we're looking for. So right here, two months ago, or maybe two weeks. Can't figure that one out. But go ahead, go with Windows 64. It's going to download. Minimize that. We'll go to our files. We'll get to our download. And here's our file. We'll double click it. We'll open up our zip file. We'll click extract. Yes, might take a minute or two. Notice this was like actually one of the slower ones. It's weird because like they're all the same. Like PlayStation 2 didn't take this long. Yeezy didn't take this long. Um, but unfortunately mine does. So sorry. Come on, man. I did kind of already set this up. I'm not sure if I should wait on this extraction, but I kind of wanted to show you like a fresh presentation of like the game itself, not completely loaded up and whatnot. There it goes. Yeah, that was a little weird, but cool. It's done. So we could actually go ahead, delete the zip file. We no longer need that anymore. We'll close that out. We'll go to our emulator. We'll click it again. And not tool, but just dolphin itself is the one we're looking for. I also like to uh, always add them down like to my toolbar just for quicker access. So you don't have to go through that. So we'll pin to taskbar. Um, now, actually, your game's not going to say that. I don't know. Hold on. I thought I just downloaded a fresh copy. All right, I guess it's not gonna let me. Um, but in, when you do load up for the first time, it's gonna ask you to add a game directory. It's very simple. You're just gonna double click it, uh, look to where you have your stored games, click the game itself, and uh, it will load up for you. Uh, next up, let's get into options configuration. Uh, right here, we want to make sure we're set at 100%. And... Mm, that's really it for there. Where am I looking? Oh, graphics. We'll open up the graphics tab. Make sure it says OpenGL. Uh, you could have the traditional aspect ratio, which was like 4 by 3 for GameCube. If you want the full screen, I run the full screen. I enjoy it. I don't mind the minor stretch. I'll boot up into a game just so you could see it, um, but it looks fine. Um, what else did we select here? I did turn on VSync, start in full screen. Um, that's completely optional what you want to do uh, Right here. It's asking like internal resolution what you would prefer I ran it at four times just to see if it would run. I recommend running it at 1080p I'm gonna load up though into 1440p and see how it actually, you know looks overall um, make sure widescreen hack is enabled and I believe that's it you could kind of go through this, like if you wanted to mess with other settings. I just wanted to, you know, get a video, but it, get, it does get into depth. Show uh, FPS, VPS, show speed percent. Uh, you could turn on all that stuff if you like. It's all up to you. Uh, but let's get into our controller. We're going to config uh, part two. So if you wanted to use uh, your Legion Go controls, this is what we would do. We're going to click standard controller. We're going to go to configuration. And then we're going to go to this left-hand side. And you're going to see uh, Xput 8 gamepad. You could do 360, like, if you wanted to do a controller other than um, the Legion Go handhelds. Um, actually, I didn't even see this option, the SDL Legion. I wonder if this will automatically. No, it won't. 
Okay, good to know. Uh, you will have to uh, manually select everything. So we'll go B, X, Y, Z. Uh, we'll probably use that as like a left bumper because I don't know exactly what that's for. Start, you already know. Up D-pad. Down D-pad. Left D-pad. Right D-pad. Controller stick. So your left analog stick. Up. Down. Left. Right. The modifier, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I know it's not like an L3 click or an R3 click because it's right over here for that. Um, but let's go to our right analog stick. We'll go up. Sorry. Down. Left. Left, right, left. No, I'm kidding, but right. And that's really it. For L, left trigger. For R, right trigger. And then left, ana left analog stick, which I think is like the click click. Um, so that's why I put that. And click. All right. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, name the profile. So just put like player one. It's it's whatever you want. This is just what I put. Uh, make sure you save it. Now you're gonna think like, oh shoot, I don't think it's gonna save. It saves. All right. Just make sure to double click it. We'll close it. But just to be reassured, everything is still the same. And that's really it. Um, as far as setup, I'm gonna go ahead and boot up just to show you some performance, how the game runs. Um, but it's nice. Looks good. Uh, yes, 60 hertz would be nice. I'm gonna skip this just because I want to get into gameplay. Probably pick the worst game just to. There's so much dialogue in this beginning half. If you guys ever played this one, this one's an absolute banger. I haven't finished it through so many games I have on like my backlog, but this is definitely one worth doing. I know there is a Wii U version and it's definitely enhanced. It's like an HD. Um, I'll work on Wii U next. Just wanted to get GameCube out the way. There's a couple of like games on GameCube that are locked on GameCube. So, you know, why not get them all? Whoa, that's weird. Why does he have two heads? Oh no. Maybe a bad copy. I'm gonna go with bad copy. There's actually one more setting I think I may have forgot to go over. Um, once this ends, I will show you. Sorry for making this video a bit too long. Is there any way we could skip this? Yes. Okay, so we're playing. The game actually does not look bad, but like I said, I upscaled it to 1440. You know what? I think that's why I've seen some graphical like issues with the game. Um, so maybe if you do 1080, it might perform better. But 1440 looks crisp. I, I'm not a complainer. I don't mind. You know, some minor. You know, like think about what we're doing here. But we're gonna go ahead, close this out. The setting that I was talking about. Let me get rid of this. 
is when we get into graphics, there's going to be like the something enters filtering. These right here. This is what could change, break your game right here. Uh, I tried I tried upscaling the anti and I should have done the text filtering. It's not recommended, but you know, I just wanted to mess around with it. If you don't want to mess around with this stuff, just leave it at default. Like it's guaranteed you're gonna have no problems uh, and go back to 1080p. That would be your best option. Um, if you don't mind, you know, some minor glitches, like it wasn't serious, you know, it wasn't like breaking game issues, but you know, some minor graphical issues, nothing crazy of uh, running how I had it. Uh, I changed everything to, I think I want to do four times, everything four times. That was the gameplay I showed, but if I missed anything, or if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.